unstoppable rivers of lava are edging toward the sea following a volcano eruption on the Spanish island of La Palma. Around 6,000 people have been forced to flee their homes. Experts are now warning of the dangers ahead for residents, including earthquakes, acid rain, and clouds of toxic gas generated when the molten lava hits the water. An erupting volcano rumbles in the Spanish island of La Palma. From above, its molten lava moves quickly, spewing clouds of toxic gas and thick black smoke into the air. Homes, roads and crops destroyed as far as the eye can see. On the hillsides, residents in shock watch on as the lava and flames edge closer to more densely populated areas. Thousands have been forced to pack up and leave. Over a hundred houses have been completely destroyed. Their residents now have nowhere to go. This is really frightening, especially for the farming and fishing communities. La Palma depends on them a lot. Local authorities are warning the lava flows could threaten other areas. Emergency crews are working around the clock to help people retrieve their belongings and evacuate quickly. The truth is that it's a tragedy to see people losing their properties. You shouldn't take the earth for granted. Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez says he'll do what he can to help people rebuild and keep them safe. Your safety is guaranteed. We've deployed the state security and armed forces, and they're doing an extraordinary job for the peace of mind and safety of everyone. This is the Canary Islands' first volcanic eruption on land in 50 years. It was triggered by several earthquakes over the weekend. As the molten lava nears the sea, scientists fear it could create more explosions and toxic gas. The devastation will cost millions. And for many of the residents forced to abandon their homes, it will take years to rebuild what was lost. And let's get more on this. We're joined by David Pyle. He is a professor of earth sciences at the University of Oxford. Thank you so much for your time. Um, as we've been hearing, authorities fear explosions and clouds of toxic gases once the lava reaches the ocean. How big are the risks? So the risks are local, but they could be severe. And there's certainly a risk of, ex risk of explosion when the lava comes into contact with the sea, scattering blocks of lava, ash and steam. But that will be localized to the the place where the lava enters the sea. A secondary hazard is that the boiling of seawater by the hot lava can release acid gases like hydrochloric acid. And this has been seen in Hawaii, for example. And that lava haze is a very pungent and acrid haze. Um, so again, it's, it's severe if you're um, enveloped in it and you don't have breathing apparatus, but the lava haze should be blown away from the island and dispersed by the winds. So the exclusion zone that's set out by the authorities should be sufficient to keep people safe. Okay, um, so you know humans should should therefore be safe. Um, I'm hearing from what you're saying, but how about marine life? So I think actually the impact of uh, the likely impact on marine life is again relatively small. Um, that the the lava will enter the sea, and as it enters the sea, it will freeze, uh, and so most of the effect, the physical effect of the eruption, will be in the area where the sea. Uh, the lava and the sea combine at the seashore. So in 1971, the eruption, the lava actually built out um, a new piece of coastline, like a, latch, a platform of lava. And obviously in front of that and underwater, there'll be kind of cascades of blocks of lava um, running down the steep slopes into the oceans. But actually, the, 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 again, the physical impact of that lava will be, will be restricted to the region where the lava is coming into the sea. How about, I mean, because we've been hearing um, that earthquakes on the island have been continuing, that there are new fissures um, that have been opening up as well. How long do you see the, this eruption, this situation going on? So this is the bit which is hardest to predict. Uh, and the only evidence we have actually is the information from previous eruptions. So the previous eruptions have lasted from about three weeks, the 1949 eruption to about three months, which was a couple of eruptions in the 1600s. So I think uh, the ass assessment right now would be um, you know, 25 to 75 days. Um, 
but obviously that could change as the activity continues and the scientists will have a much better idea of what's going on in a couple of days time okay. or a week's time Okay, so, so a pretty big range there. Um, volcanologist yes, David right, yes. Pyle, um, really appreciate your, your, your expert analysis uh, filling us in on, on what, what indeed is, is going, going on there. Uh, volcanologist, as we mentioned, we appreciate it.